If you've seen some of my content, I bet you could guess that I'm not really a big fan of Andrew Cuomo. And I'm also not really a fan of his brother either. In fact, I think they're both scumbags. And it's not even really about the sexual assault allegations because there's no evidence or proof one way or the other. But both of these guys are two of the most arrogant dudes in politics and the fact that Chris Cuomo is on CNN means that they can't really report stories about Andrew Cuomo that are honest and unbiased. For example, Andrew Cuomo is allowed to shove a bunch of old people in a nursing home and have them die due to COVID, but the media won't say anything because Chris Cuomo is right there. And of course, the media already has a left bias, so we'll never hear about that from them. On top of that, Andrew's allowed to write a book talking about how great he was during the pandemic, even though he's responsible for a lot of innocent people dying. The media asks Andrew such easy questions so often, in fact, that when he actually gets a tough question, he gets super defensive and angry. Well, parents are still confused as well. The schools oh, they're not confused. Tomorrow. You're confused. No, I think but parents read the are law, confused as well. Read the law and you won't be confused. And when New York was hit really badly, Donald Trump actually tried to help Andrew Cuomo in New York City by providing federal aid, and Cuomo said no. But as soon as Biden got elected, then Cuomo changed his tune. He said that New York City should work on reopening and helping the economy get back on its feet. But even after all of that, and all the allegations toward Cuomo, and all the bad things that he's done, the media will continue to stand up for him. Why? Because he's a Democrat, and it's really sad to see. If you Google Chris Cuomo nursing homes, you won't see the real story even though it is a fact that Andrew Cuomo sent elderly COVID patients back into the nursing home when they were all tested positive for the virus. It is also a fact that COVID affects old people at a disproportionate rate compared to everybody else. I mean, obviously, right? Because they have a worse immune system. But yet the media will still say that this had a very minor impact on the amount of deaths in the nursing home. The fact that Andrew Cuomo is even able to do that and still get defense from the media just shows how awful today's media is. Because when Donald Trump breathes, he causes COVID deaths. But Andrew Cuomo literally does something that directly causes COVID patients to die and innocent lives to be lost, and the media says that it's overblown. But yet the media says that you should also wear four masks even if you're 20 feet away from somebody outside and you're both tested negative. But shoving a bunch of old people together with a virus that affects the elderly and kills them at distinct rates, that's fine. But hey, if he's willing to shove a bunch of old people together when he knows that they're gonna die, he must have a very good reason, right? Well, his reason behind it was the hospital numbers were too high and he wanted his state to look good. But the media will say that he just did the right thing. The same people that said Trump is responsible for the capital raid are the same people that say Andrew Cuomo did not cause those nursing home deaths. But then you'll see both Cuomo brothers on CNN talking about which one's the favorite, who's better at sports, what their favorite ice cream is, what movies they used to watch. And then you wonder why guys like Donald Trump and the Republicans have no empathy. It's because every time they speak, they're accused of killing somebody or attempting to kill somebody. While the Democrats have free reign and can say whatever they want and can accuse anybody of anything at any time, and it's perfectly acceptable by the media, and they will love it and adore them, and they'll fact check everybody that says anything that disagrees with them, how can you fact check putting a bunch of old people into a nursing home that tested positive for COVID-19 and then say that they didn't die from COVID-19, but yet when someone dies in a car accident, you guys say that it's a COVID death. Oh, and let's not forget all the public health officials that closed down all restaurants and shut down all businesses, but then were seen eating together at a fancy restaurant that they actually closed without social distancing, and there was like seven of them, and they didn't have masks at all the whole time. But then they tell you not to spend Thanksgiving or Christmas with your own family because of a virus. But I could go on and on and on, so leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more content just like this. Also, don't forget to comment. And I'll see you in the next video.